The Alchemist, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, often shortened to The Alchemist, is a fantasy novel and the first installment in the six-part book series, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel. It was written by Irish author Michael Scott and published in May 2007. The Alchemist has been printed in 20 languages and is available in 37 countries. The film rights to the series have been sold to Lorenzo di Bonaventura. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Title character. The Alchemist refers to the historical character of Nicolas Flamel, a French scrivener and manuscript seller. Flamel developed a posthumous reputation for being an alchemist and for his search for the philosopher's stone and immortality. The alchemist is Nicolas Flamel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot summary. Sophie and Josh Newman are 15-year-old twins who are working at their summer jobs in the Coffee Cup in San Francisco Sophie works at the Coffee Cup, Josh works at the bookstore on the other side of the street when a mysterious man, John D., comes into the bookstore for a book, The Codex, or Book of Abraham the Mage. Josh witnesses both Nick and Perry using magic. He discovers that Nick is not an ordinary bookseller, but is the medieval and the legendary alchemist, Nicholas Flamel, being kept alive by making the elixir of life a secret from the Codex for him and his wife, Perinelle. Dee also uses magic and takes the Codex by force while Josh is holding it, resulting in two pages being left behind. The final summoning. Pages that Dee needs to raise the Dark Elders, the beings whom Dee serves, and who have kept him immortal for several hundred years. Both Flamels need the Codex to make the Elixir of Life, or they will age rapidly and die within a month. Also, if they do not retrieve the Codex, Dee will summon the Dark Elders to destroy the world and return to an age in which humans are but slaves and food. Flamel quickly takes Sophie and Josh to a hideout to enlist the aid of Skathak, a powerful next-generation elder. There, they are forced to run, threatened by rats sent by D, which is thwarted by Flamel and Skathak. Chased again almost immediately by tens of thousands of birds, Flamel then leads the twins and Skathak to secure the aid of Hecate, a powerful three-faced elder, who can awaken the twins' magical potential. Dee discovers this, and enlists the aid of Bastet and the Morrigan. The trio mount a massive assault on Hecate's Shadow Realm to destroy Yggdrasil, the world tree, that is the heart of Hecate's power. While Yggdrasil is attacked, Hecate awakens Sophie's magic abilities but does not have time to awaken Josh, as the tree has been set on fire by Dee. While she rushes to defend her home, Skathak, Flamel, and the twins attempt to escape the Shadow Realm. While escaping, they encounter Dee and witness the power of the ancient ice elemental sword, Excalibur. They see Dee transform a Werebore into pure ice, then shatter the statue. Skathak remarks that she thought that Excalibur had been lost when Artorius died. The twins, Skathak, and Flamel escape the Shadow Realm, shortly before the destruction of Hecate, Yggdrasil, and the entire Shadow Realm. As they escape, Dee uses Excalibur to freeze the tree, and Hecate, whose life and power is linked to it, transforms to ice as well. As this occurs, Dee is informed that the Flamels and Skathak have escaped with the twins. In his rage, he shatters Yggdrasil, which crushes Hecate into dust, killing her. Flamel, Skathak, and the twins travel to Skathak's grandmother, the Witch of Endor also called the Mistress of Air, who teaches Sophie her magical secrets quickly by giving the girl all the witch's knowledge and the power to know how to use air magic. While they are there, Dee has found out that a prophecy in the Codex speaks of Sophie and Josh. He tempts Josh to join him while using necromancy to raise thousands of corpses to assault the elders, Flamel, and Sophie. Josh almost agrees, but at the last moment, he realizes he will lose Sophie if he agrees. 
Dee brings all the dead in a nearby cemetery alive and they start to attack them. Josh hits Dee with their hummer, distracting Dee long enough to escape with Skathak, Sophie, and Nicholas Flamel by using a legate, a teleportation device where two or more lines of energy, ley lines, cross each other to go to Paris, which is Nicholas Flamel's old home. The book ends when Dee surprises them. Topic. Special editions and cover variations On 5 August 2010 in the UK, The Alchemist, was re-released featuring an alternate cover. The Alchemist was released as part of a special edition boxed three-book set called The First Codex in the US on 28 September 2010. Audio book The Alchemist is also available as an unabridged audio book. It was released by the Listening Library on of May 2007 and narrated by Dennis O'Hare. The audiobook ISBN numbers are, ISBN 0-7393-5032-3 UK, ISBN 978-0-7393-5032-4 US <laughs> Award nominations Irish Book of the Year 2008 Kentucky Bluegrass Book Award Rhode Island Teen Book Award 2008 winner Bisto Book of the Year Award 2008 CBI Shadowing Award 2008 Maine Student Book Award ranked 10th Nevada Young Readers Award NCSLMAYA Book Award 2010 Topic Online games The first related online game to be launched was the Codex Master. The object is to get money and guess a secret code composed of a sequence of colored orbs by inputting various sequences and using logic. When a sequence is entered, indicators show when the player has the right color and also when a color is in the right or wrong position to enable them to apply logic and guess the correct sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Film adaptation Film rights for the book were originally sold to New Line Cinema and Mark Burnett Productions. The film is currently in pre-production. This was reported at IMDb. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the writer hired to pen the script was Eric Bress, who has written scripts for the television show, Kyle XY. It was reported that the producer would be Mark Burnett and that he bought the rights to the book in an auction months before it was published. In November 2009, it was announced in Variety magazine that Lorenzo di Bonaventura had bought the film rights to the series. Michael Scott and Barry Crost will be the executive producers. The script writer has yet to be announced. Well, I have been promising news of the Flamel movie. Here's the press release. The movie was set up with New Line, but New Line were absorbed by Warner and the rights reverted to me. There has been tremendous interest in the series and eventually, it went to Lorenzo di Bonaventura, who is the man responsible for bringing Harry Potter to Warner when he was there. He genuinely loves this series. The next step now is to attach a writer, I will not write it, I have three more books to do. On 20 June 2012 it was announced that the Australian company AMPCO Films had optioned the film. Michael Scott will write the screenplay. Production is due to start in early 2013 and filming will take place in Australia and New Zealand. Sequels <laughs> <laughs> The series continues in the sequel The Magician, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel which was released in the UK on 5 June 2008 and on 24 June 2008 in the US. 
The third book The Sorceress, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel was released on 26 May 2009 in the US and the fourth book was released on 25 June 2009 in the UK The Necromancer, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel followed with its US release on 25 May 2010. The fifth book, The Warlock, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel was released on 24 May 2011 in America. The final book in the series, The Enchantress, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, was released 24 May 2012.